Hey. Hey. Look at you out and about. You look well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm yeah. surprised people even recognize me standing since I was in that hospital bed for so long. Right. But I'm finally getting my color back and feeling better. Yeah. We're just glad that we're here for Willow's checkup and not to admit her for treatments. How many weeks has it been since the bone marrow transplant? Twelve weeks, though it feels like a lifetime ago. But I'm finally getting my life back. I've been given a second chance at life. And I am so grateful to everyone at GH, but especially to my husband. Michael's support has been incredible. Yeah, well, don't give me too much credit. You're the strong one in this relationship. You don't listen to him. He will never admit how much he's done for me. Though thinking about our children was even another inspiration. Right. Well, <laughs> we can agree it was a it was a group effort. And I'm not an oncologist, but the transplant seems to have been a success because clearly you're well on the road to recover. I won't keep you guys. Nice to see you, Bill. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I, can't, I can't believe how light I feel. Well, light? Yes, light, as in a huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I used to dread stepping into this building. It seemed each week brought more bad news or another setback, but now I'm not nervous about going to my checkup. I know I'm going to hear something positive for a change. I love seeing you this happy. Oh, I know, I know it sounds uh, cliche, but I don't, I don't take anything for granted anymore. Every morning I wake up with you or see you playing with the kids or hearing you laugh. This gift. I'm not, I am the luckiest guy in the world. Did something... Oh, hey! Sounds like somebody got some good news. I sure did! I got the green light to go out in public again. Will, that's huge! I know! Is there any restrictions? Uh, Dr. Randolph said it could take up to a year for my immune system to fully recover, but it's already been three months, and she's happy with my blood cell count. Okay, are there any limitations about what you what you can do, where you can go? Or... She advised against travel for a while, so Paris will have to wait. And I don't think I'll be going to concerts anytime soon, but she encouraged me to get out for walks. She said it's a great way for me to build up my strength, and you know how much Wiley loves to explore down by the boathouse, and I finally have the energy to push Amelia in her stroller, so it is just a win for the entire family. But you're not, you're not yet planning on returning to work yet, though, right? Don't worry, I'm not going to push it. Dr. Randolph made it clear I shouldn't even think about going back to work until I'm 100% in remission. But I'm not complaining. For now, I am just thrilled to be out of house jail, though the warden's pretty cute. Oh, yeah, and plus he can provide special privileges. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm just so, so happy you got a good report. Oh, and I got to see Clara. Clara? Clara. Remember, she was a nurse who was assigned to me during isolation. Oh, and she was so comforting. Clara has three kids, so she understood how hard it was for me to be away from Wiley and Amelia. Well, it sounds like she was just what you needed. I don't want this great feeling to stop. <laughs> and how about we go celebrate? Well, hi, Willow. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you. It's nice to be seen out in public. Yeah, you just missed Nina. Well, lucky for us. I wish that you'd give me a, another chance. I've been making more of an effort lately. That's good. Just just keep in mind that your mother loves you very much, and I think we would all be better off spreading love. You seem in an unusually good mood. Well, I am. Life is good. It's about to get a hell of a lot better. 